Hi, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team um, in here in sunny Vero Beach and the Treasure Coast of Florida. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a particular part of Vero Beach, Florida, why I think you should care and what I love about it. So this week we're gonna be talking about the Southwest Quadrant of Vero Beach, Florida. Why are we talking about the Southwest Quadrant of Vero Beach, Florida? Well, I think that if you are interested in Vero Beach and the area, and you're interested in looking at some real estate, this could be a particularly interesting part of Vero Beach, um, sometimes overlooked, or I would even say underappreciated for all of the things that it actually offers. And that's why I wanted to highlight it for you this week and tell you some of the really cool, awesome things that I love about it and why it might be a good fit for you and your family. When I say Southwest Vero Beach, what exactly am I talking about? Well, take a look at this map right here. So Southwest Vero Beach technically is delineated by US-1 running north and south and Route 60 running east and west or what the locals call 20th Street, but it's Route 60 that cuts um, east to west. So it cuts Vero Beach from the north quadrant to the south quadrant. And again, US-1, which cuts it from east to west. So everything that is west of US-1 and south of Route 60 is technically Southwest Vero Beach. What I like to consider Southwest Vero Beach though, here as a local real estate agent and a resident of Vero Beach for the better part of going on 11 years is like the area that's around 8th Street and South and around 20th Street and West. And if you're not local here, you don't really know what I'm talking about, but I'll elaborate a little bit more. So. Vero Beach is, is kind of chunked out, especially for us real estate agents and people who work, you know, the greater Vero Beach area into four different quadrants. So the Southwest quadrant, the, the houses there and the neighborhoods there, there's a, there is a mixture to be perfectly honest and frank, there is definitely a mixture of different types of houses. But when you kind of start to get t more towards that Southwest, and even west of Vero where you have a lot more agricultural land, what I have seen is that typically you have older, more established neighborhoods. Um, a lot of them don't have any HOAs. Maybe they have like a light deed restriction that keeps you know the, the community looking the way that the residents want the community looking. Um, but Larger lots are some of the things that you might see. In Southwest Vero Beach, what you can expect to find, there's a mix of different types of neighborhoods and different types of houses. To be perfectly honest, there is a good mix. However, if I have a client who is looking for a house with no HOA in an established neighborhood with a larger lot size, our typical lot size here in Florida, we would call standard, quote unquote standard, is like a 0.22 or a 0.23, so just under a quarter of an acre. But if you have a family who's looking for, let's say a larger lot size, maybe a third of an acre or even a half of an acre, which can be really nice to have that little bit of buffer between neighbors, I typically zone right in on Southwest Vero Beach. Because in Southwest Vero Beach, what I have found is there's a lot of older established neighborhoods. A lot of them have no HOA. They might have what we call deed restrictions, which just says like in this neighborhood, the houses need to be this size. You know, you gotta do this and that, blah, blah, blah. It's not a strict HOA. It's just more of a recommended guideline for the aesthetics of the neighborhood. Um, you also are gonna have like larger lot sizes. So when they establish the neighborhoods, at that point in time, land was more plentiful and they didn't have to squeeze so many houses into a neighborhood on zero you know, lot lines. So a lot of times you'll find half acre lots, so nice, really mature trees, mature landscaping. Um, you know, Those trees were planted 40 years ago. If they weren't all ripped out for the development, you know, if they were, 
those trees were planted like about 40 years ago. Those are really beautiful, mature trees on those lots. Um, again, just kind of like, um, and these neighborhoods, I would categorize them um, like without being too tongue in cheek about it or anything like that, but just like to help give information, I would categorize them as like middle class uh, or upper, upper middle class working class neighborhoods. Um, so, you know, take that as what you will, but I think that there's a lot of families that occupy these types of neighborhoods who want the space of the yard. Um, typically they're, you know, again, like working class people. There's a pretty decent mix of retirees with working families in these types of neighborhoods. If you've watched any of my other videos on this channel about like Vera Beach and our Treasure Coast area, you'll know that it's a sleepier type of town. We have a significant older population, a lot of baby boomers, um, a lot of retirees, and some of our communities really cater to that retiree demographic, especially our turnkey HOA neighborhoods. But here in Southwest Vero Beach, you're not gonna find so much of that. Like people maintain their own lawns. They are typically living in custom built houses when they were built. Um, everyone has kind of like their own look of house within the neighborhood. So it's a completely different feeling. But I say that to let you know that it's definitely a mix of like retirees with um, working families with fit like kids and things and the need for space and the need for options and like freedom of choice with their house. They want to be able to put swings in their trees and things like that and you know have little four wheelers and stuff out in the yard like I do. So uh, just to kind of give you a feel of what ty type of neighborhood that I'm talking about. So getting outside of the, t the neighborhoods and the types of houses in you know this area of Vero Beach, another thing that I really love and hyper-focus on about this Southwest quadrant is that it's really close to conveniences. So in, in any direction, really, you have a conveniently located public supermarket. Um, there's one right down there on Oslo that's only a couple blocks away if you're in the Southwest Vero Beach area. And it's really nice. It's one of our newer publics in Vero Beach. You've got a couple of food restaurants um, in that vicinity as well. You've got barber shops, you've got haircutting places. Uh, lots of lots of good stuff, honestly. Really close conveniences. You're really about 10 minutes away from Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, Marshalls, um, CVS, all of those little things that you might need to get to or shopping conveniences, really close. Really convenient and I like that a lot. And if you're somebody that needs to be able to hop onto the interstate, onto I-95 or US-1 quickly and easily, it's a really nice convenient location to get you out there and get you on your way. The last thing I wanna say about this area that I just find personally charming is that Vero Beach, really the greater Vero Beach area, is known for its citrus agriculture. That's when it was established. It was established as a hub for citrus agriculture. And one of the things I really love about this western part of Vero Beach is that you can still feel the essence of those citrus groves and that agricultural type of feeling. Um, you know, if you just travel a couple blocks farther west, it's all agricultural land still there, undeveloped. I like to be able to see that. It kind of gives me a more spacious feeling about, you know, my life and the area. And I don't know, I, I'm like a sentimental type of person, so I like to see a little bit of that history, like accessible. So I think it's pretty cool. I just think that's a, kind of a neat thing about that area. So in closing, um, I again wanted to share with you about this specific part of Vero Beach because my hopes is that if you're on this channel and you're looking for more information and if you are interested in potentially moving to Vero Beach or what areas are gonna fit your needs best and this fits what you were looking for, then I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I speak with a lot of folks 
um, day in and day out about their housing needs here in the area and a lot of them are looking for this type of home in this type of space. So if that's you, that's wonderful. If you want more information, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, my team's contact information is in the description below. You can also check out our website. Our URL is in the description below. And check out all the homes that are available right now in the area. We are here to help. We are happy to be a resource for you in the Vero Beach in greater Treasure Coast area. So whatever you need, you let us know. Thanks and see you next week.